Today's lesson is going to combine a number of topics that we've looked at so far in nuclear. We are going to combine mass decrement and energy with decay equations and moles. Um, our first problem, we're going to look at how much energy is released in alpha decay. On your paper, it says that uranium-235 decays by alpha. It gives you some data about masses. And we're going to find the energy in mega electron volts and joules. You will notice that I gave you the conversion factor. 1 MeV is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 13th joules. We're going to need that. Our decay equation. U-235, uranium has an atomic number of 92. It's going to release an alpha particle. An alpha is a 4,2. My other product will be 231 and 90. Element 90 is thorium. We have masses for each one of these particles. I gave you the mass of these nuclei in the problem statement. The mass of uranium-235 nucleus is 235.043931. The mass of the thorium nucleus, 231.036. And the mass of the alpha particle is the same as the mass of the helium nucleus, which is both on your sheet, which gives you the mass of light nuclides, and is um, at the top of the paper, 4.002603. If I want to look at the mass changes in this reaction, I want to compare the mass of my reactants to the total mass of products. I'm going to find the difference between that amount and that amount, and that will give me my mass decrement. I'm going to punch these into the calculator super carefully. 235.043931 minus the sum of 4.002603 plus 231.0. 36304. My mass decrement, 0.005024 AMU, were converted to energy over the course of this reaction. If I want to figure out how much energy, I'm going to use the same conversion factor we used before, which is we know 1 AMU has an energy of 931 mega electron volts. So multiplying this out, I get 4.68 MeV per single atom that decays. Some of our later problems are going to ask you how much energy is released if far more than one atom decays. Um, this is A. For B, I need to also get it in joules. 1 mega electron volt is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 13th joules. If you, can, if you want, you can set it up as a proportion to see it more easily. I'm going to end up multiplying. So times 1.6 times 10 to the negative 13th yields 7.48 times 10 to the negative 13th. Now there is a sample problem for you to try. Um, you'll check the answer. If you have any questions on it, come talk to me. Um, and then we'll move on to beta decay.